Well, it has been a windy one out there and chilly to add. You know, for all of us across the Delaware Valley, let's check in, in back in with meteorologist Tammy Souza for oh. a look at the full forecast. Hi, Tammy. Joe, I hear there was a casualty at your house. A basketball hoop went down. That hoop has gone down like twice in oh. as many weeks. <laughs> it's it's down. My son is saying we need a new one now. A yeah. bent rim. We'll oh. see. Oh yeah, maybe maybe it's time. Get, the, get, they'll get any one. tricks in, they'll have up their sleeve. <laughs> they try them all. They will. They will try it. Well, we did have those gusty winds out there today. Still, we'll look at the camera bouncing up and down as we look at Center City. Clear skies out there. It's going to be a very cold night. We had a very rare snow squall warning out there today as well when that visibility dropped and the snow came through so quickly. It's 31 right now in Philadelphia. It feels like 18 on these winds out of the west and northwest, sustained at 21 miles an hour. But look at the gusts right now, 35 miles an hour. That's going to continue throughout the evening. It is 25 in Quakertown, 33 in Brigantine, 29 in Newark. Temperatures have dropped drastically once this cold northwest. West wind came in. And here are some of the sustained wind speeds. 33 mile an hour winds right now in Atlantic City. You're looking at 23 mile an hour winds at Mount Pocono and 29 mile an hour winds for all of you in Wilmington. This is where the future cast with the winds are going to go. Take a look at this. Still, 40s along the shore possible. At 1130 tonight, we're still looking at 20 to 30 mile an hour wind gusts. This finally settles down tomorrow by the time you wake up in the morning. Much less breezy tomorrow. But the winds are going to make it feel bitter. Look at this. 15 is going to be the feels like at about 8 o'clock tonight in Philadelphia. 1.30 in the morning, if you're out and about, it uh, will feel like 10 in Philadelphia, 7 below at Mount Pocono, and 10 in Atlantic City. And when we wake up tomorrow morning, single digits and teens will be the wind chill across the area. So three things for tomorrow. Dress in layers. It is going to be a cold one, not as breezy, but it will be cold. Grab the sunglasses, plenty of sunshine, and it will be less windy out there. Wind advisory across the area, that is until 10 o'clock tonight. Everybody except Lancaster County, 45 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts possible. Here are the snow squalls coming through earlier today. An inch of snow reported up in Northampton County. Now we have clear skies and high pressure off to the west. Cold air is streaming in behind that front. Watch what happens. By tomorrow, the cold air right on top of us. So we'll be lucky to get into the upper 30s and near 40, but still lots of sunshine with the high pressure. Then here comes warm air. It's around the backside of this high. So Monday, we are going to soar into the upper 50s. Just as quickly, a warm front comes through Tuesday, bringing us rain all day long. That's out of here with a shower Wednesday morning. Mostly dry and cloudy on Wednesday. Then here comes another disturbance. We could see snow, sleet, and rain on Thursday and even into Friday. So tonight it's going to be a cold one and a clear one out there. 19 degrees with that gusty wind. 40 tomorrow. We'll see plenty of sunshine. And then we can kick it all the way to 58 degrees. Look at our holiday. It's going to be spectacular. I sense a lot of people not going to work that day. Uh, 60s for Tuesday and Wednesday with that chance of rain and a mix coming in here on Thursday. Thursday and Friday, clearing out to a chilly start for next weekend. Joe? Tommy, thank you so much.